The Tragic Story of Nikola Tesla In the heart of the 20th century, in a small, dimly lit hotel room in New York City, a man died alone. No family, no fortune, no fanfare. His name, Nikola Tesla, a name the world now reveres. But in his final days, he was all but forgotten. Tesla was more than an inventor. He was a visionary, a man born decades ahead of his time. He dreamed of a world powered by free energy, of wireless communication, of machines that could harness the invisible forces of the universe. And one by one, he built them. At the height of the Industrial Revolution, Tesla championed alternating current, a powerful, efficient system of electricity. But his ideas threatened the interests of powerful men, including Thomas Edison. What followed became known as the War of Currents, a brutal public battle between Edison's direct current and Tesla's alternating current. Though Tesla's system would eventually power the world, Edison's influence blackened his name for years. With the help of financier J.P. Morgan, Tesla built the Wardenclyffe Tower, a grand attempt to wirelessly transmit power across the globe. But when Morgan discovered Tesla's real goal, free energy for everyone, the funding stopped. The tower was demolished, the dream destroyed. As the years passed, Tesla withdrew from the public eye. Once celebrated, he became a figure of ridicule. He spoke of death rays and alien signals, his genius overshadowed by eccentricity, his patents stolen or forgotten. He lived his final years in poverty, surviving on hotel credit, feeding pigeons in Bryant Park. The man who once lit the world now lived in darkness. But time has a way of remembering greatness. Today, Tesla's name powers electric cars, his theories underpin wireless technology, and his legacy sparks the imaginations of dreamers everywhere. Nikola Tesla was a man betrayed by the world he tried to uplift, a genius whose light was dimmed too soon. But his ideas, his vision, still shine, brighter than ever.